Voznesensky Prospect is right in the historical center of St. Petersburg in the Admiraltaisky district. A stone throw from famous sites such as St. Isaac's Cathedral and the Church of Our Savior Unspilled Blood. Number 31 on the street is a typical St. Petersburg tenement block from the 19th century. Its neo-Renaissance architecture was inspired by French and Spanish apartment buildings. Designer Jessia Mikhailova lives on the third floor. Please, come in. A narrow hallway connects all four rooms in the apartment, which has a massive 156 square meters of floor space. The building is a listed property. The living room is directly connected to the bedroom. Across the hall is her 18-year-old daughter's room. This is the apartment we live in. It's our home. I live here with my family. And it doesn't feel like a museum here. We love being surrounded by all these elements that have been registered for heritage conservation. They're part of our everyday life. The stucco work on the three and a half meter high ceilings is part of that architectural heritage. Historical photographs were used 11 years ago to restore the rooms, including these plaster swans. The fireplace in the bedroom is also an original. It's not just for decoration. In the winter, the owners use it to heat the apartment. For Zhezia Mikhailova, who runs the design company Sisters, living in a listed building is a joy. Imagine coming across a space and finding something old, an inheritance of sorts. That's what happened in my apartment, so of course it's an inspiration. The bathroom's decor echoes the historical stucco elements, although the fixtures are modern. Just like in the kitchen, Jezia and her husband Yevgeny have combined old and modern elements in their home. This original brick wall has been given a special finish. An attention to detail, a love for patterns, and for the history of this place is manifest throughout the apartment. The living room houses memorabilia from the 19th century. Jezia found them at an antiques warehouse. This chair was already in the apartment when Jezia's family moved in. The designer reupholstered and painted it. A fragment of the old wall has remained here too, a reminder of when newspapers were often used as a cheap alternative to wallpaper. In Soviet-era communal apartments such as this, several families would share the kitchen and bathroom, as remains the case with almost half of the apartments in this building today. Nearly half the buildings in the area are listed historical buildings. Zhezia and her husband, architect Yevgeny Rusakov, like the layout of the apartment and haven't done any large-scale reconstruction. We just try to add a bit here and there, working with color and touching things up. But on the whole, we kept the apartment as it is, because everything here was planned out before we moved in. Jezia's interior design also includes Asian-inspired elements, selected to reinforce the atmosphere of the historical rooms. These Chinese cabinets are among her favorite objects. For designer Jezia, the decoration of the apartment is an ongoing project and a showcase for her work. She painted some of the fabrics in the apartment herself. Before the demand for interior design boomed in Russia in the 90s, Jezia earned her living as an artist. This apartment is not the product of a design assignment that I worked on for someone else. That would have obliged us to stick with a certain style. This is simply the apartment that reflects me personally, me and my family. Design and architecture. For Jezia and Yevgenia, a labor of love. And their home is the perfect place for them to find new inspiration.